gente que me quiere, la gente que me We look at the name, Partners in Learning. Number one is, we, no one can do this alone. We need to have partners, we need to have collaborators. So one guiding principle is to bring the community in and let's do this together. The mission is to assist diverse adults, children, and families in their efforts to learn, earn, and live well. We focus on early childhood education and parents, knowing that parents need to be an integral part of children's education, understand educational systems, so we said, okay, we got a big job. <laughs> There's not a program like Nanos. It's a program that offers uh, two languages, uh, Spanish um, and English, and we work with the community, and it's a very, it's a great program. We have three classrooms. One is for three-year-olds, and the other two are pre-Ks. You don't know how to make letters, but make a steak. Can you make a steak, and then we can... I have one son, yes, he's four years old, and he's in Manos program. He is very happy talking about the food, about the children, about their, like, singing and dancing, and the... Uh, do exercise on the computers, everything, he's excited about everything, he's talking. So what we do at Manos needs to reflect the home. And what's in the home? The family, right? So our job is to really know those families. That's why I wanted to work with Manos because it's an opportunity to work with the whole family. And to me, when you work with the whole family, you can really make a difference. If I work with the parents and the grandparents, then they can then teach the other children. And I learn a lot from them as well. So it's, it's the whole, everyone working together, we learn a lot from each other. My relation with the students is like family, friends. Todo el tiempo les digo que somos como una familia, que trabajamos juntos, que nos ayudamos. So, mi relación con ellos es como una familia. Yo tengo una relación muy bonita con, con los niños. Tenemos mucha comunicación, que es muy, muy importante. Think about the benefit of parents and children feeling like school is their home. They're going to learn. They're going to really digest what's being taught much easier than if they were nervous or felt someone was intrigued. Pero el que vaya al área de bloque no puede sacar todo. Ellos saben jugar con los bloquitas, los animales, haciéndole casitas. So we have children who are coming with four years of language experience in Spanish. So the fact that we can greet people in their language and have them come in and be part of who we are in their language and sensitive and responsive to their cultures, it's critical. And then that's a strong foundation to build all this other stuff, the English language, the new culture they're in here in the United States. Importante el español y el inglés enseñarles. Primero el español como su primera lengua, aprenden colores, números, letras, sus habilidades. Después entonces aprenden el inglés como segunda lengua y les es más fácil. They don't have to be afraid because everyone is speaking to them in a language that they don't understand. So I think that is one of the biggest benefits. Confidence, you know, I know it may be sound cliche, but building self-esteem within children and parents is, again, another critical component of learning. I have to feel confident that I'm, I can learn, right? And I'm safe where I am. All of that is going to lead to, and again, going back to La Familia, family, um, that builds, it's not just education for the sake of learning. It's education because we know education leads to economic stability. This. You see these two girls? Okay. I see two girls. So your first sentence, I see Okay. whatever is in your picture. They are... Okay. Westside Learning Center's foundation, you know, our basis and our purpose is English as a second language. For United States, you know, you don't have good communication in English. Uh, it's a big problem because you have good communication in English, you have more opportunity for a good job. Now we're over 40 language groups at the Westside Learning Center. You know, so the common denominator there is English. And 
becoming comfortable in this community. How do you do that? Let's learn about the community. Let's use English to help learn about the community. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. The common motivation amongst all those language groups is to learn English. Why? Most because they want to get into formal training, maybe go on to continuing education, get a job. There is a lot of skills that I, I got here. Reading, writing, make a resume, um, how to un intrude, introduce yourself in a job interview. I decided to come here uh, because uh, in this state, in, in Syracuse, in New York, there, there are more opportunities uh, to become in a professional. They're very motivated and they help each other. You know, I can speak Somali, you can speak Spanish, and we're working on English together. I enjoy to learn and know what's the different cultures and I translate my culture to other peoples from different countries. Not just language diversity at Westside Learning Center, there's educational diversity. Yeah. No high school diploma up to working on your doctorate degree. We have many professionals, doctors who have 10, 20 years of experience as cardiologists, general practitioners, ENTs, you know, those from the Middle East, we're seeing primarily engineers coming in from Iraq. Amazing that those with some more formal education become the peer tutors for those who don't have that formal education. So it becomes a real learning community. I think I see my future. And my future because this school Learn a good English. It's my future. It's a miracle. It's a miracle of God to me, because in this school, um, I told you that I am improve, uh, improving my English. Yes. It's a miracle of God to me. Someone asked me, Teresa, why did you ever do this, or how did you think this would happen? I, said, I didn't ever stop to think that it couldn't happen, because it needs to happen. And that's the way I think community needs to think. In 1987, when I investigated the need, there were three Latino children enrolled in pre-kindergarten. Three of a very large community. And now we have three generations at Mount. I would say that contributing to Mount is contributing to community, the health of our community, which is your community. You're contributing to Manos, it's not just children, it's the family, it's the whole unit. What I learned over the years in Manos in Latino cultures is La Familia is much more than what in the United States we may think of as the nuclear family. Who can tell me what you see on the front cover of this book? <gasps> Enrique, one thing. Manos is family. Manos is familia. Familia? Familia. 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 Family. It's just family.